So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, um, what we're working on right now is to work on our factory. All right, and I showed you guys a special method of factory. Remember, when we're doing this factory technique, the main important thing we want to do is take it from a trinomial to make it represent as two. two binomials multiplied by each other, all right? Now, there's a couple things we need to remember. Remember when we did the FOIL phase, right? We multiplied our first two numbers. When multiplying our first two numbers, that provided us with this first term. So what I need to do is I need to look at, of this first term, my x squared, what two numbers possibly multiply to give us x squared? All right, and we can write these as a set of two binomials. So a possibility is going to write us for x squared can be x times x, correct? Okay, so now the next thing is these two numbers, when I multiplied the last times the last, that always produced me my, my constant or my number or my number in my trinomial. So what I need to do is I need to figure out what are all the numbers that multiply to give me 12. And I gave you guys a diagram to practice with this. So I told you guys, don't even worry about figuring out. Just write in a little diamond. With C up top, because remember, the quadratic form. Okay? So C is my constant or my number, which is 12, and b is my coefficient of my linear term, or x, which is 7. So then I said to write a multiplication dot up here and a plus symbol up there. All right, everybody should have had these for their homework, for these problems, yes? Why don't you write down like x and 7, for like 7, 8, 6, 7, x, why don't you just write down plus 7? You could write a plus in there if you want to, but I, yeah. since there's no sign, I know it's going to be positive. No, no, no. Like you said, since it's 7x, why don't you write 7x? We're just worried right now about the coefficient. I'll, I'll see, I'll show you in a second. But I'm just worried about the coefficient. So now I need to say, what two numbers multiply to give me 12 and add to give me 7? So you think about all the numbers that multiply to give you 12. That could be a positive 3 times 4, 6 times 2, 12 times 1, right? What two numbers multiply to give you a positive 12? But add give you negative seven, and actually, we should actually now start thinking about the negative numbers as well. Because they don't give you positives. Right. Because when you multiply them, they're still going to give you a positive number, right? But when you add negative number plus a negative number, do you get a positive number? Yeah. No. So that's why only the solutions are going to work. So one thing to remember, which I actually forgot to tell you, whenever you have a positive and a positive. You're only going to work, think about the positive factors. Does that make sense? When you have a positive and positive, only think about the positive factors. So which two of these numbers, they all multiply to give us 12, which ones add up to, or which ones add up to 7? 3 and 4. So that's why I say it's a positive 3 and a positive 4. Okay? Now, if you were to use your FOIL face and figure this out, you get x times x is x squared. Um, x times x is x squared. 3 times 4 is, or so let's do this, then x times 4 is 4x plus 3x plus 12. So if I did FOIL, I would get, I would get this, combine my like terms, x squared plus 7x plus 12. So the reason why I don't use this 7x is because I just want to get, we have to use these numbers to get there. But it will provide us with our answer. Okay? So that's how you factor when you have two positive terms. All right? Okay.